welcome back to our weekly vlog. So I'm actually about to work out. I'm about to do a little bit of yoga and some Pilates on my Peloton app, but I wanted to show you guys our little workout room vibe because I just got a couple of furniture items to like finish it off. So it's pretty much completely done. I think I'm gonna get one more mirror and then we'll be done but let me just show you. So I zoomed out to a 0.5 lens so you can see everything, but the room is honestly not this big, so don't get surprised. But you can see right here, this is Ryan's work chair. He actually works from home like one or two days a week from over here. And then the rest of the time, this is our workout room. We actually thought it would be a guest bedroom, but then we figured out, hey, why not make it into a workout room because we love to work out at home. So this is basically my workout room and then we're eventually going to get a treadmill for Ryan. This is just like a little um, foldable treadmill that we got from Amazon that was kind of cheap. So not the best for long runs like Ryan does, but still pretty good. And my Peloton bike, which I am obsessed with and I did turn the screen so I could do my class in a little bit. And then I've got this little basket back here with a bunch of stuff. Okay, I went back to regular uh, Zoom but I have some extra yoga mats, a little knee pad, some yoga blocks, just some items in there. And then over here, we've got this little table. It used to be like by our front door in our apartment, but now it's just to catch things. It's just a catch all. So we've got our bike shoes down there, an extra pair of workout shoes, and then a lamp. And I love to work out in here when it's dark outside and put the lamp on, it's so vibey. I think I am going to get like a long mirror to go right here just so we can kind of see ourselves while we're working out. But I just got in this six foot by six foot workout mat. And okay, it's a little bit thinner than I thought that it would be. It is really only like one inch thick and I assumed it would be a little bit bigger, but I do love this one that we got from Peloton for our bike. So I thought we'd get one just to put down on here so we can work out on this. And I think it'll serve its purpose. It wasn't very expensive, so that's good. And then I also got this mirror from Wayfair. I really love it. I think it's super cute. I almost wanna get a couple more uh, for around the house, but this one's the small version, so it's not very large. I do wanna hang it on the wall so it doesn't have to take up floor space, but I think it's really cute. So that is it. I'm going to go and do some yoga and Pilates and we'll talk later. Hello my friends, it is Friday, August 2nd, and it is my birthday. <laughs> it's four o'clock and I'm getting ready because we are going out for dinner and then going see the Lion King musical. So every year I buy myself something for my birthday, of course, ever since I've had a big girl job, I've been doing that. And I bought myself tickets to the Lion King, which I've always wanted to see. So that's what we are doing tonight, and I'm so excited. I am kind of a musical fan. Ryan is not the biggest musical fan, but he's gonna put up with it for me. I did take him to go with me to um, see Hamilton a couple years back, and it was amazing. So the Hobby Center in Houston always has really great musicals going on, and I'm a lover of the arts, so I always wanna go check it out. So I'm gonna get ready right now, and I am drinking an Alani because I have zero energy. So as you guys saw by the clips, we did go out last night. Um, a couple of our friends wanted to go out to celebrate their birthday actually on Sunday. And there is a new bar open near us. It's kind of like a cocktail bar. It was really, really cute. All the cocktails were delicious and we probably had 
one too many, or at least I know I did. Yeah, I went a little bit ham and I did kind of wake up with a hangover. So that was not the funnest thing to wake up to on my birthday, but oh well, we will live on. Tonight we are going to a restaurant downtown, which is like known for like wine and cheese, but they also have a bunch of different meals. It's an Italian restaurant called Grotto, but I think we're gonna go for like a light dinner and then the musical is at eight. So just getting ready right now. I'm gonna do probably pretty simple makeup besides um, some eye makeup, which I don't usually do daily, but I'm gonna just do my regular daily makeup because that's kind of what I've been doing nowadays. I haven't really done a full face, like actual foundation makeup in a long time. Um, don't get me wrong though, I still do a full face. <laughs> Cream and then powder products, but Anyways, I'm gonna get ready. I'll show you guys the final look and take you guys along tonight to celebrate my birthday. watching Descendants, I think four, Red Rising, the red, right, the red something. And it's kind of cute, I have to say. I've watched the other Descendants movies and I think they're cute. I like Disney, so it's still fun to me, even though it's definitely not my target demographic. It's not aimed at me, <laughs> but I'm still gonna watch it. So we're gonna watch and we're gonna build our bookshelf and then I'm gonna put it together with you guys. I'm super excited. Here is our finished bookshelf. So I'm just gonna back up and show you guys the office a little bit. It's not totally clean, but here's my desk and this is where I work. This is just like a little storage locker, a little trundle bed that honestly Kai sleeps on most of the day, but is for guests. And then the bookshelf. I think this spot is like super random. Honestly, this whole office is really random. Very odd placement of things, but it's fine. <laughs> Anyways, so. I need to organize where I want everything to go, but I have my Throne of Glass series and Fourth Wing. I have some fit romanticy, yeah, fantasy romance books right here that I haven't read, and some more that I haven't read. I have read Kiss Quotient. I have an empty shelf. Got to figure out what to do with that. We have A Court of Thorns and Roses, and then some other random ones, which I actually really need to try to read this one again. This is A Merry Little Meat Cute by Julie Murphy and Sierra Simone. And I got this a couple years ago, and I tried to read it, and I just didn't like it, but I think if I read it again now, I would like it. So I'm saving this for Christmas time. I do actually have a small comic book collection. So I have more than this, but this is just my most recent haul. Um, I have a Miles Morales one. I love Miles. He's so cool. I've got this spider punk one. These I picked up in Vancouver. I have a spider Gwen, which I don't remember where I picked this one up. And then we have Miles Morales Spider-Man. These two I think I picked up in a different spot. 
but this is my little comic collection. And then I have these three books from Lore Olympus, which if you guys never were on Webtoon, you totally missed out. But these are Webtoon's turns into books. And it's Hades and Persephone, of course, because I freaking love them. <laughs> so I think there's like five volumes out now. And I'm pretty sure the comic is still ongoing. Like She's still making art. But this is from Rachel Smythe or Rachel Smith. And it's just such a beautiful, beautiful comic. Let me show you guys. I'll just show you the first one because I don't want to like ruin anything. But these are gorgeous. Just the most beautiful artwork. I'm just going to flip to a random page. Oh, the dogs. The dogs. They're so cute. So definitely recommend reading it if you haven't. It's for free on Webtoon. But I wanted to support the artist. And so I bought her full copies so i need to buy the other ones but they're just so beautiful okay i think i figured out what i want to do with it just for now i'm going to leave it like this i have a few books that are actually on the third floor in our bedroom especially the ones that i'm like i just recently finished so i'm going to bring those down later but here's the final look at the bookshelf i'll do a quick pan over so of course first we have Throne of Glass, which I have Queen of Shadows taken out because I was just reading it. I just finished it actually though, so I'm going to start on my ta tandem read of Tower of Dawn and Empire of Storms. And then we have all of my romanticy books that I need to read, as well as a picture and some more books that I need to read. And then we've also got Kiss Quotient by itself. I don't really own a ton of romance books. I like to read those as audiobooks. And then all of my Throne of Glass, an extra photo and the other books so well i am super tired it's like 10 o'clock and i'm gonna go to bed <laughs> but thank you guys so so much for watching this week's vlog i hope that you enjoyed it just some snippets of the past couple of weeks but thank you all so so much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye